All right, guys. What's going on? It's been a while since I played The Witcher 3, I'm going to be quite honest. I did a lot of off-camera kind of stuff. Or, no, not off-camera, off-footage, whatever you want to call it. I wasn't recording some of the gameplay I did for this game. Uh, my guy's level 3, so he's not, like, incredibly beyond what I had him at at the start. Obviously, I know I'm going to have to sink a lot more time into this game to even get my guy to some level that's impressive so the outfits he has or he has they're pretty much the same what the hell is that sound what the hell <laughs> my xbox 360 just made this really weird sound that was strange anyway um all right what the fuck's going on in my system here There we go. I had to rip the freaking power cable out because it was being stupid. What the fuck? Alright, anyway. Um. Let's see. Um. I don't really have much that's changed. I mean, some of this is from the beginning. The only. Th I stole those boots. <laughs> those aren't even my boots. I stole them from some freaking guard post and now I have them. So I. I really don't have much. Can I use this? What the fuck is going on in my room right now? Everything keeps fucking falling over. <laughs> Use that on the boots. I'm not sure if that really improved them at all. Alright, so basically what we did is we talked to a soldier who wanted us to kill a monster i forget what the hell the name of the monster was i was considering filming that but i didn't end, I ended up doing it and then after killing the monster we um what do we do after that drawing a blank here um oh yeah we went back to the guard he told us where that girl yennefer was so now i'm, I'm going back to uh vesemir to continue with the quest so let's talk to vesemir and see what he has to say about this Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. I definitely need stronger armor. <laughs> I think the only upgrade was like a pair of boots. <laughs> the only what thing that's upgraded. Took him down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. Ain't no shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Wow, shit just went south. <laughs> Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say which is still young. And <laughs> you all right? She's like bleeding out. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, she's mine. Oh, one. 
get some shit. <laughs> I was a bit excessive. I could slash his head off. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. Why are they pissed at him? So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, great. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report. <gasps> about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Oh, that was easy. We found her already. Never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see That's you. That's my fucking stupid companion. Honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. The Emperor. But I number among that group. Super Pope. I remember last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Bye bye, Vesemir. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. How dare you doubt my horse? Protagonist of Modern Warfare 2 will do just fine for me. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a trophy. When was the last time I got a trophy in this game? <laughs> So many people who have almost, like, completed this fucking game, and I'm, like, only at the very beginning campaign missions. And now we teleport to our new area, brought to you by CD Projekt Red. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. You were naked in it. Just <laughs> the beginning. But then. But then. <sighs> winter is coming! Oh shit. Oh my god, winter is coming. What the fuck is going on here? Right, no! Oh my god, it's a bunch. What the hell? Go 
the headless horseman. <laughs> Are we going to London? <laughs> that looks like London in the distance. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore. I've already seen this cutscene. Is Yennefer. She this is the cutscene that plays every time I fucking start the game. Few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in near. Yen, yeah, Yen. Yeah, every time I start The Witcher 3, that cutscene always... Whoa, holy shit. Wow. From being chased on horseback to getting my balls fucking scrubbed. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of mere cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? Why is he French? In that chair. Catherine, reshape the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards... Nilfgaard? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy's accent? Beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Can I choose my own haircut? I think you can, right? And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, the Chair, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. It's Geralt, you Place fucker. Unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa. And from there, made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I, I I don't know if this is from the first or second game, but... I'm out of flotsam with Vernon Roach. I'm so lost. <laughs> A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question. Before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. 
Will you do my pubic hair as well? The infamous summit at Loch Muy. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, uh, handing Radovid control of the Conclave. I wish I knew the story. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Well, that alliance has been dissolved. Irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et Here, um... With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Can anyone confirm for me in the comments if... All of that dialogue was from the first and second game, like, plot points that were major that I just didn't... <laughs> I don't know anything about because I didn't play them. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black... Or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Hmm. I'll go with the black one. Fuck you, I want to go in with my towel. Loot. What the hell's the difference here? The lapel. Ooh, this one looks pretty nice. It's got like a little design on it. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting picky with this. Here, you know what? We'll do this one. Can I equip this now? have any armor? This is an armor, though. This ain't armor. This is... what? A bath towel. Yeah, so she'll fight my enemies in a fucking bath towel. Where's my crossbow? Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. What the fuck? Why does he keep calling me the gentleman and not by my name? <laughs> it's like that guy, um... What the hell is that guy? 
um, Jeff and Hagar from uh, Game of Thrones, where he keeps talking to uh, Arya. He's like, a girl does not want to do... Like, he, he doesn't call her by her name. He calls her by a girl. It's always in the third person. Confirm away. A gentleman must bear with his back. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. This is absurd. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Leg extended. Gentlemen, will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Wow, I have to learn how to fucking bow. The gentleman will Can I steal stuff? Only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor uh. might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. You've spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. I wonder if there's stuff I can steal here. I want everything. I want that armor. That's some pretty intimidating armor right there. Oh my god, everyone's dressed like a fucking Frenchman. In grimy et art kerzer, dyfen aden in carn et marvut, emir var emres. Bow. Oh wow! I actually decided to bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian Namen, what can favort? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. It's fucking Tywin Lannister. <laughs> you will find her and bring her to me. What the heck? Ty I, I knew Ty... I heard some people saying that Tywin Lannister did a voice in this game. I didn't know it was the Emperor. Holy shit, he loves playing the big roles, doesn't he? In all these medieval freaking stories. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. You know what's weird? I, I mean, I know what Char uh, Charles Dance, who's the actor who does the voice, like, I know what he looks like, I know what Tywin Lannister looks like. Like, he's like an old guy. And so this guy, the Emperor, is kind of like a younger guy, so it's almost like the voice doesn't suit him. <laughs> Like, maybe if this guy was a bit older, he kind of had, like, grayer hair, and he was, like, an older emperor, I could see it, but... I don't know, that's just me. Just because I know, uh, Tywin from Game of Thrones, but... <sighs> I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. Well, that was a weird my twitch right there. spies will help you. Count on them, and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress.
I'm guessing this conversation would have gone a lot differently if I had not bowed to the Emperor. Probably would have fucking flipped out. Gentlemen, pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentlemen disgusts need not bother. What's this? Torch. This guy's got six cents. And doors open for him, too. It's the Iron Throne. Wait, what is this? Prince of Elanda. <laughs> that is a pretty that's a pretty different iron throne. I have sourdough with my chicken. <laughs> Anything anyone's saying anymore? Yes, Ken, as green. My Witcher sense is tingling. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. It seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Oh, Siri's the girl at the very beginning. So wait, is he he's the daughter of the Emperor? Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. GPS I tracking knew the devices. Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. Guess you That's suck as a sorcerer. Trail hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. I'll do this one. Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood, her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. 
Beatrice Merigold. Apparently, she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure, she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. I'll do this one. Find out some information. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Um, I guess it's time to get going. Guess time to go. To split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. The clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Bessemer roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right. Wow. Looks like we got our. That was a, that was a good video to actually record. There was a lot of information. We met the emperor. Got to the capital. What the actual fuck did she just do? Anything in here I can take? Scars healed nicely. The pictures. Directly out of northern Tex. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. This is my history lesson. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools. So Nilfgaard versus Radovid. Returning to the war. He's just rebels or something. A massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. 
Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Bar Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. What the fuck? <laughs> May the great sun light your path. Get out of the fucking way. Fuck your shit. Alright, um, ooh, are there any herbs over here I can steal? Herbs I still have no fucking idea how to make. Bunch of garbage over here. Here's this idiot, sir, the gentleman. By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. And Medetta, Estrat, Essen, Novigrad. Oh, I completed the quest. I did it! <laughs> What the hell? This is the this is where the witchers are. Care more, huh? Okay. I'm assuming you have to fast travel. I don't think you can just walk between town to town. Who's this retarded sack of shit? Mm -hmm. See you. Oh, he wants to play that stupid card game. The one I played in the tavern. That was a fucking colossal failure. See if there's anything I can steal around here. Yes, pen as quick. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Nova. That's it. Mom the Emperor now. Why are there broken pieces of glass behind his fucking chair? What an idiot. This place is a mess. I don't approve of it. Travel to Belen. Is that the Emperor's? Uh, yeah, it's the Emperor's. It's locked. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm in the Chamber of Secrets.
Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. It's something even more important. Oh, here's the little cutscene now that's gonna probably play. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Behest. All right, I guess we'll uh, stop here now that we're in this new town. All right. Yeah, that went well. There wasn't even really any combat. It was like no gameplay. It was pretty much all dialogue. The only gameplay was when I killed those guys in the freaking tavern. <laughs> then I got kicked out of that town. That was funny. Apparently, I'm not sure the game is probably going to have you side with either the Emperor or the, Re or the Rebels, is what I'm going to assume. Because you can usually choose, you know, games like, you know, Skyrim, where you can choose between the Emperor and the Rebels. There's many games that kind of do that. So I'm going to go on a limb to assume that the same thing is going to happen with this game, so... fuck was that? Oh. It's like some wolf. Velen. Northern Tamiria. The Witcher 3. The Witcher. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Okay. What a pleasant sight. Yeah, I can tell this town is going to be full of wonders. <laughs> Welcome to Valen. Don't end up like them. <laughs> That's their catchphrase. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I still have that head on my... Uh... I still have that monster head on my horse. Alright. I'll leave the video by... Uh... Engaging in some combat. Get over here. That's right, bitch. Come on. That's right. I'm girl, bitch. I can do jumping leaps. Why is everything so fucked up here? This town doesn't look very nice. Wow, someone really let this town go to shit. Four baked apples. I think I'm going to need some more healing items, especially in the nick of combat. I know I can always uh, meditate to get it back, but I'd rather not. Let's collect some of these. Some random leaves for herbs. That's it, Roach. I have a whole bunch of quests from that white orchard place. I should probably do something with them. Hey. Oh no. I see enemies! Probably don't need to even kill them, but... do that here. Apparently you can't die there. I tried dying and um yeah. Killed by a bunch of monsters. Oh no.
Where is the game going to spawn me? No. Son of a bitch. Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, the videos that I make for The Witcher are quite lengthy. Oh, they spawned me before I killed the dogs. Great. Maybe I shouldn't have fucking engaged in combat with those random monsters. <laughs> but what's this? Hold on a minute. What is this? Giddy up. The guy was guilty of desertion, so they fucking killed him. That's great. That's just amazing. Faster. Holy fucking shit, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Whoa there, Roach. Am I able to cross? Yep. There's a tipped over cart over here. Come on, Roach. Whoa there, Roach. Whoa there, Roach. Come on, Roach. Fuck you, Roach. Roach, Roach, Roach. In at the crossroads. Alright, I've got a bunch of quests here. Save the game. Oh yeah, there was an update for this game when I opened it this morning. Alright, I guess I'll see what I can get here and uh, we'll uh, do another video. Maybe I'll make one today, not sure, but uh... What the hell? What armor am I wearing? Wait a second, what the hell? This does not look like my old armor. Oh, it is. Is it? It looks like it has, like, a tint to it or something. You can have it at your saddle. God damn it, how do I go over to the... Here we go. That, this is still a good weapon. Probably need new stuff. This is the best that I've got. 